The fifth annual West Loop Wedding Walk is happening February 4th, where soon-to-be brides have a chance to visit a variety of venues and meet some of the city's best wedding venue, uh, vendor, vendors. Yeah, joining us now with the details and a talk ins and outs for this year is founder and owner of Urban Allure Events, Nicole Falls. Nicole, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for having me. Good this morning. This is so useful for brides to be who might not even know where to start or what they're looking for. Yeah, so this is our fifth year hosting the West Loop Wedding Walk, and the reason this all started was to try to showcase these venues set up as if their wedding was actually happening. Okay. So we have over 15 venues participating, and then over 200 vendors are going to be on site showing the newest wedding trends for the upcoming year. Okay, so so not only do you get to see where the place might be that you dream of holding your, your function, you can actually find the people who can help put it together from the cake designer to, to I mean, like, who are some of the people, the vendors? Yeah, so we've got florists, we've got um, catering teams, bar teams, wedding dresses, really any element of your wedding day, you can find someone on site at this okay. event. Okay, so what is an in and out for 2024? Yeah, so I think one of the biggest ones that we're carrying into the year mm -hmm. is adding color. Oh, okay. So mm -hmm. the easiest way to do that is doing it with your florals. So these are from Urban Allure events. They'll also be at the wedding walk. Mm -hmm. But if bright flowers are too much of a commitment for you, there's other fun ways to tie that in, whether that's with a taper candle. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's very cute. Um, yeah. Or, you know, BBJ La Toile, uh, is providing all of these beautiful runners, bright colored napkins. So this is what would your tables would look like? and Yeah. Okay. So it's fun ways to pull in the color. Mm -hmm. Same thing you can do with like your invitations oh, or your pretty. signage. Mm -hmm. um, Amy was pointing out the QR codes. What are those used for? Yeah, a lot of people use those for their own Google photo albums now or Ooh. to RSVP. I'm just kind of taking everything into the digital space. Okay. Or your bridal registry. Oh. That is a good one. Okay, so are people still sending out invitations these days? They are, yes. Absolutely. Okay. okay. All right. So that still hasn't changed. Okay, so glassware, bottle yeah, so service, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's doing lots of fun, you know, unique personalized elements so one of the things that we're seeing that we're loving are these little monogram drink toppers mm, oh, cool. and they look are actually that. dissolvable and you can put them right in your cocktails oh, and then you go walk that. around okay yes. so um are people still wearing white are women or brides still wearing white i feel like a lot of people are still wearing white they're bringing in pops of color in that way as well. Mm -hmm. But I think one of the trends for 24 is the outfit change. So oh. not only are people wearing a ceremony gown, but maybe they're switching into something fun for the after party. Oh. So then are ceremony gowns lowering in price? Because that gets expensive. Mm -hmm. I wished I could say that they were. <laughs> <laughs> um, but this is a beautiful gown from Grace and Ivory. Ooh, they're located in Bucktown, mm -hmm. and they are a social enterprise. So a portion of their sales go back to a good cause. Oh, that's All right. nice. Okay. So tell us about the West Loop Wedding Walk. How does that work? Sure, so couples and or whoever else wants to join are welcome to come. We provide transportation across the span of 15 different venues. Couples can check in and register at any location that they want, mm -hmm. and then they're transported throughout the day um, to stop at all of these locations. And I love that the venues are set up like how the wedding would look. So a lot of us have a hard time imagining yeah. this space. Mm -hmm. yeah. is, is it fully decorated then? Each venue does something different okay. and unique. So some of them set up like ceremonies, some of them set up like receptions. Okay. And it's just to give you the ideas of what that space would look like versus touring an empty warehouse. Yeah. All right, yeah. and then you have an after party? We do have an after party, so it's hosted at one of the venues called Fairly, and it's immediately following the walk. It's free to attend, and it's by Blue Water Kings Band, so it's going to be a fun entertainment and a true after party. Oh, that's fun. And uh, this cake, uh, it, it, this is very extravagant. Are wedding yes. cakes getting very extravagant? Cakes are coming back. Okay. So last year we saw lots of dessert tables, mm -hmm. which everybody loved. But the big tiered cakes are definitely making a statement again this year, which Oof. we're excited about. Yeah. So people go on this wedding walk, are they also able to book people there as well? They can, and a ton of the vendors are offering prizes, incentives, oh. and one of the venues is actually going to do a wedding giveaway. Oh, oh that's gosh, that gotta go so check that nice. out. That's oh, one-stop shopping for everything. You that's said, gold. You, sorry, you said colors. Are there any specific colors that are really standing out this year? Just bright colors. Bright colors. Bright, okay. tropical, fun. Oh, get mm -hmm. out of the winter blast. Mm -hmm. Yes, there you go. definitely. No, thank you so much for joining us, Nicole. We appreciate thank it. Uh, the fifth annual West Loop Wedding Walk, as she mentioned, coming up here on February 4th on North Branch Street. You can check westloopweddingwalk.com for ticket information and all the details.